The, 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 the dream is real. Y'all know I'm spiritual. I mean, we done been through a couple things now together. Feel like we've known each other since grade school. Um, but I'm going to tell you a little story you might not know. I uh, got married 23 years ago this October 16th, this past October 16th. And Let the uh, go. yeah, you like that? You like that, huh? Huh? It's a whole lot of gangster shit, huh? Huh? You like that? In the beginning of our marriage, speaking of foundation, you and Ronnie, you know, you and Ronnie have so eloquently reminded us about foundation and the importance, uh, which is a hundred thousand percent true. So we we go try to find a church. We we moved to L.A. Okay, we were in L.A. Little Kenny was uh, in her stomach. We wanted to find a church home. I want to say the name of this church was Church of the Harvest. So we gonna go to the church. We gonna see about this church. Going to the church and I see a thermometer on the wall. The thermometer had to be two stories high. And on this thermometer on the side, you know, the mamas have your temperature and how hot, how cold. Looking at this thermometer, and the thermometer says, $10,000, I I'm talking about it looked like it went up to $300 million. I don't know if it was $300 million. It was too high for that congregation to get to. So I sat in the back of the church. I said, well, golly. I don't want to say goddamn no more because people going goddamn. <laughs> I was like, G-Mo Nitty. How much money they think they going to raise? So I was uncomfortable to say the least. But I said, I'm not going to give up on church because my grandmama and them talked about church. I went to church. I went to Catholic school once upon a time. I'm coming to you. I said, did it. And then I said, I'm going to go to another one. And it was another church. I don't know the name. But if you're from L.A., uh, Kim, you should know this. It was at the farm. They bought the farm. They did something. They was having church at the farm. I wore my wedding suit this Sunday to church. I literally went into the church. It was so packed, I couldn't even get on the floor. I had to sit up in the nosebleed section, right? So I'm in there, and it's a pretty good word. You know, not like the last place I went to. The last place I went to, you got it was an hour sermon. You got 52 minutes of the fundraiser. Okay, but this church was actually, they was talking that talk. I was like, yes, give me the scripture. Give me some examples. I got to go to the bathroom now. Right around the time they was collecting the offering. I'm in my wedding suit, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in my, I'm clean at the board of health. And I got to pee. I gently start going down them steep ass stairs because you already know the form if you've ever been there. You get high up, you're going to die if you, if you slip. You're going to slip right your ass off the ledge onto the floor. I had on some slippery shoes. I'm coming down the steps. You seen the pimp in that, in that one little drink where he gliding down the step? I'm coming down the steps. The man almost tackled me. I said, well, what the fuck you doing, play? I know we in church. You, you ain't trying to fight. He, no, 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 you can't move when we collecting this money. I mean, you know the rules of the game. He said it like that. He said, you cannot move while we collect it. I said, bro, I got to go to the bathroom. I don't know what, you think I'm going to run off with the bag? He said, I don't know what you're going to do, but you got to sit down. Sit your $5 ass down before I make change. I said, well, guess what? <laughs> I'm not going, I'm not going to be coming back to this church and I promise you, and I'm, I know Ronnie and Brown Sugar, you done had good experience, but I ain't had no good experience with no church. And then everything I see with church continues to show me that that is a house of man, not God. <laughs>